Hey girl, welcome back to Glam Life by Meg, where I teach you how to efficiently and glamorously live your very best life. Say hi in the comments if you're new here, it's nice to virtually meet you. But before we get to the good stuff, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. And don't forget to ring that bell so that you can be notified every single time that I post a video. Welcome to my new series called Beauty Basics, where we talk about all things beauty. This is the very basics for those who are just learning. Today, we're talking about lips, lipstick specifically. As you can see, my lips are hydrated. I started with a sugar balm from Fresh. This one has a little bit of a tint to it. This is great. I throw this on if I'm running out of the house. Just has a little bit of a tint. Just gives me a little bit of color, but mostly moisture. This is great. It looks super natural, but it also works well under other lipsticks. Now, what is lipstick? The new Oxford American Dictionary defines lipstick as a colored cosmetic applied to the lips from a small solid stick. Wow, that's a very basic definition. I guess, yeah, that's literally what it is. Lipstick is applied to enhance the color of the lips to kind of finish off your look. This is one of the first things that you probably have seen someone apply, like your mom applying her lipstick before you leave the house. This is one of those things that most people have their first memory of makeup with, is lipstick. You might get to play with your mom's lipstick, which not this one, cause this one's expensive, but. <laughs> the tip is usually created in a way and shaped in a way to make it easy to apply to the lips. You can find lipsticks for 99 cents and you can find lipsticks for $99. That's crazy, I know. If you are someone who is brand new to applying lipstick, I usually suggest starting with a your lips but better color. And for me, that is the MAC Cosmetics Cream Sheen Cream in your coffee. I obviously love this one. This is rolled all the way up. It's that your lips but better color. So it looks very similar to my actual lip color. It just kind of brings it forward. If you can kind of see, I literally just kind of swiped a little bit of it on. You will also find that lipsticks come in different finishes. This one is a cream sheen, which means that it's going to have a slight sheen on the lips. It's more of a neutral, kind of natural finish. It looks a bit more realistic, whereas something like a strict matte lipstick, matte lipsticks dry out your lips and they create a very stark look. It is a look, if that's what you're going for, awesome. Just make sure to apply a lot of lip balm underneath. But if you're new to lipstick, this is such a great option. Anything in that cream sheen or satin finish and sheerer is usually better to start with. Another great one, the Matte Cosmetics. Oh, this is the Plenty of Pout Plumping Lipstick in So Swell. I mean, they almost look exactly the same. Again, you just kind of swipe and it's nearly identical to my lip color. I usually keep one of these in my purse and I can easily, if I'm running around, need to touch up on the go, I can just, and run. I don't have to play around with it. I can even usually do it without looking in a mirror because it's not something like a bold red. Also, another thing to note, a stick is a very good place to start if you are new. I personally, as a makeup artist and on myself, do not use liquid lipsticks. I cannot stand the way they finish. They are much more difficult to apply and they are so drying. I have not found one that isn't incredibly drying. It doesn't matter how much lip balm I put on underneath. They're super drying. They're very difficult to get them to look exactly right. And they just look really fake. The idea here is to enhance your natural appearance and not make yourself look fake. That's a different thing. We can talk about that later. We have all kinds of fun with makeup, but this is for beginners. This is why we're here. You can also start with a lip liner as well. This helps you if you're trying to get a more exact finish. You simply, you just make a couple little lines and then attach them. This helps your lipstick stay within the lines of your lips and it will prevent bleeding. I followed the exact natural line of my lips. I did not do any overlining. That is a whole other video. If you would like to learn more about adjusting the shape of your lips with lip liners and lipsticks, let me know in the comments below. That's not something that I usually suggest, but I do have experience with it and I can absolutely show you how to do it. So that's done. I picked a color that was very close to my natural lip color. This is Morphe's Lip Liner in Guide Me. You're just going to fill in the shape of your lips with the lipstick. The product in the tube is created in a way that makes it easier to apply to your lips. Done. Here it is, that full natural finish. Enhanced my natural lip color without going super light, super dark, super bold. We can have fun with all those colors, but this is more just to show you 
how it looks when you are applying the actual lipstick. So we've talked about lip liner, we've talked about lipstick, and now we're gonna talk about lip gloss. Here are two different types of lip gloss. This is the Morphe lip gloss in Groupie and the CoverGirl Melting Pout Vinyl Vow in Toasted Grill. So the Morphe one, this is a very sheer formula that has a lot more sparkle and glitter flex. Super easy to just pop right over. And you can see there's just that little bit of extra shine. I do not suggest wearing lip gloss if your hair is going to be down that day. You never know when a gust of wind is gonna pick up and then and your hair gets stuck to your mouth and then you try to pull it off and then the lip gloss drags on your face. It's just not, it's not the vibe. This is great to even wear by itself. Just a simple sheer coat right on the lips, done. This one is more of a pigmented shade. This is actually, I believe it is actually marketed as a liquid lipstick, but it's not. This one, you can see it's got more color and it's a little bit thicker. This is another great one to wear by itself. If you're looking for a slightly more opaque look without having to do all the steps of the liner and the lipstick and then the gloss, you can wear any of these things by themselves. You can take the lip liner, line your lips, and then fill it in with that same thing and be done. You can take a lipstick and go. You can take a lip gloss and go. Any of these things you can wear separately. I prefer to do that three-step system or most days just a two-step if my hair is down. Do the liner, do the lipstick, out the door. If I'm in a rush, this doesn't bleed on me. I have not had any issues with either of these bleeding on me. Also, when they are a color that's closer to your lips, it's much easier to correct if there are any mistakes. There are so many different colors, so many different brands, so many different finishes. We could go on for days and days. But let me tell you about some of my favorites. I already talked about Matte Cosmetics, the Cream Sheen, Cream in Your Coffee, the Plenty of Pout Plumping Lipstick in So Swell. Bite Beauty is another really great brand. All of their ingredients are actually a food grade. So you could technically take a bite out of this and it'd be totally fine. I wouldn't suggest it because it'd be a very expensive snack, but you know, this is another great one. Obviously I love it. That's all that's left. This is the Bite Beauty Am Amuse Bouche lipstick in Chai. It's a slightly darker and cooler than the one that I have on. Fabulous brand. I also love the Morphe Brushes Cream Lipsticks. This one is called Hey Sugar. This one's super great. It doesn't roll because it just sits on its squareness so it won't roll, but it doesn't fit into a lot of places very easily because it's a really bulky package as opposed to one of these other ones that you can just kind of throw in your bag. This one takes up a lot of real estate in your purse. Fabulous lipstick, great price. I think it's only 10 bucks if I'm not mistaken. Fabulous product, fabulous formula, fabulous price. I just don't love the packaging. That's my only thing on it. The NYX Cosmetics Round Case Lipsticks in Snow White. This, I, it's still in the package because it's a brand new one. This is the shade that I have my Color Guard girls wear, my dance students, members of my own dance team, anyone ever, when I'm in charge of the makeup, if it is a stage performance, this is probably the color that we're using. It looks good on every single person that I've ever put it on, and it's a deep enough color, it's more of a burgundy color, and it looks so much better on stage, whereas this tends to get a little bit washed out. If you're dancing on stage and I'm in charge of you, that's probably what you're wearing. Oh, I do really like these Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Color Splash Lipstick. This is the color Popsicle, super fun. It's more of a cool tone, it's a blue-based pink, so it's not gonna look awesome on everybody. Yeah, those are my favorite brands at the moment. I feel like this is one of the most fun parts of makeup because you can so easily quickly change your lip color. You can have a very simple color on throughout the day like this, and then switch to something a little bit more daring for nighttime. <sighs> there is just something about a matte lipstick that just sucks your soul right out through your lips. It's like the dementor of the cosmetics world. As funny, wasn't it? I always suggest that you do your own research when it comes to ingredients. If you have any allergies of any sort, these Tarte lipsticks, well, pretty much Tarte anything is fabulous because they're gluten-free, paraben-free, dairy-free, soy-free, talc-free, all that stuff. Like they are free of anything that could even be considered bad in any way. So Tarte is a great place to start for beginners in general. We are on a budget here. You know that's how we do things. Ulta.com, start with the NYX round case lipsticks, find a color that you enjoy, just start practicing. 
have a great time, put it on before bed, practice filling in your personal lip shape. Then you wash it right off when you wash your face and go to bed. This is supposed to be fun. Makeup is supposed to be fun. If it's not fun for you, don't wear it. I don't wear liquid lipsticks because they're not fun for me. If you like it, do it. If you don't, let it go. Before you go, make sure to answer the question of the day in the comment section below. And that question is, what is your favorite lipstick? I want to know. I love trying out new lipsticks, but if it's $99, don't want to hear about it. If you would like more context on how to apply lipstick to your own face, you can always book an appointment with me on the Naya Beauty app. I do virtual makeup consultations on the Naya Beauty app. All you have to do is download the app, link in the comment section below. There should be a picture that looks like this. That's me. Book with me. Super great. We can do a 30 minute or a 60 minute session, depending on what it is that you'd like to learn for your own face. Because it's super great for me to show you how to apply it on my own face but your face doesn't look like my face. So I'd love to help you get comfortable applying the makeup to your own face. Don't forget, you do not need makeup to look beautiful. You are beautiful just the way that you are. But if you like to apply makeup now and then, it's totally fine. You're allowed, it washes off. That's it for this video. And until next time, stay hydrated, sis. My videos are not sponsored by Hydro Jug, but I do have a code. If you'd like 10% off your own Hydro Jug, you can use the code GLAMLIFE10 at checkout for 10% off your purchase. They have so many super cute sleeves, jugs, straws, the whole thing. Ah! <gasps>